everybody. I'm going to do an unboxing and review on the Diane Ling Young, and uh, also I'm going to do a review on the Maru 4x4. So uh, stick around and see that. So here's the box. Uh, I got it off Amazon, and it uh, came in about three days. Uh, it's from Magic Puzzle Cube. So, uh, so here I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Looks like it comes with a uh, set of stickers, a um, couple of logos, Diane logos. So uh, here's the cube. It comes in this bubble wrap. Uh, looks pretty, uh, pretty safe. So here's the box. Uh, it's got blue box. It's got Diane cube on it, three layer. Diane 3, Ling Young. Pretty excited about it. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I didn't get it stickered because I want to put my own stickers on it. So uh, here it is. Uh, it's a light cube. It's not too heavy. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to make the first turn now. Wow, turns very good. It's a little easier to turn. My Diane Guhong. I'm gonna have to put some Lubix on it, see how that works. But yeah, just from kind of first impressions, uh, I like uh, like the way it turns, like the way it feels. It feels good. Alright, I've had about two weeks to play with the Ling Young, so uh, here's the cube. I've got Cube Smith stickers on them. Uh, the colors are bright green, bright orange, regular blue, regular red, yellow, and white. So uh, those are the stickers that I've, I've, I have on here. It's a, it's a good cube. Uh, I don't like it as much as I like my Gu Hong, but like I said, it's still a good cube. Um, they feel about the same weight-wise. but. Uh, <clears throat> the Ling Young has more of like a, I feel like a type A feel. It's kind of just like a, a, a clicky feel. Um, rather the Gu Hong has more of like an F2 feel. It's kind of a silky smooth. You can hear the difference. That one's kind of more of a clicky and this is the Gu Hong. And it's more of just like a smoother feel. They both have Lubick's Cube on them. Um, they're both tightened the tension that I like them. But the uh, Gu Hong, I feel like, cuts corners a little bit better than the Ling Young. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's what I feel about the, the Ling Young. I like it, but it's not quite as good as my Gu Hong. Now I'm going to talk about the Maru 4x4. I got this at the MIT Spring Open in uh, the beginning of March, and I bought it from Bob Burton and the people selling with him for 20 bucks. So uh, I thought it was a, a pretty good deal. But uh, I, at the at the open, I used a uh, MF8 plus Diane 4x4, and uh, I thought that that was uh, one of the best 4x4s out there, which it is. It's a very good 4x4, but compared to this Maru, uh, I think that this Maru is better. I think it cuts corners better. I definitely doesn't pop as much, and uh, I think that's due to the uh, internal mechanism of it. This one has more of a V-cube uh, mechanism, a lot of little smaller pieces. But the uh, MF8 plus Diane, that has a, a ball core. So it's a little bit different. But uh, this one I like better. I think, uh, I think it cuts corners better. It doesn't have any pops. The only problem I have with it is a little bit of misalignment with the uh, internal mechanism. But uh, other than that, it's a good cube. And that only happens maybe one every 15 solves. So uh, all in all, I think, I think that this is a good cube. So all in all, I think the Ling Young is a good cube. I don't think it's as good as the Gu Hong, but I think it's a great cube. Uh, some people may like it better, but I, I do not. And the Maru 4x4 right now is the best 4x4 that I've played with. Um, I think it's better than the uh, MF8 plus Diane. It's definitely better than the Rubik's and Ishing, but I haven't played with a lot of other 4x4s, so that's what I think about those. Also, on April 2nd, I'll be going to the Dallas Open. 
Uh, if you know anybody who's going or if any of y'all watching are going, just let me know. And uh, I'll be entering in the 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, and the 3x3 blind. It should be a lot of fun, so uh, hopefully I'll get to meet some people there. Thanks for watching.